Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this Unity tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can stop a character from moving entirely. Uh, for instance, in times like a warp transition period. So I'll go ahead and play the game and show you how it's working so far. So normally the character can move uh, WASD in all directions. But as soon as I go step up to this warp point here, the door, doors being a very standard warp point, it's going to prevent the movement here. And I'll show you how it works in script, but you can see although I was pressing the W key, for, which is normally to move forward, all the movement was disabled and the animations did not play as well. But now on the other side of that warp, the animation and the movement is working fine again. So to show how I did that, I have two scripts, one called player movement and one called warp. The warp, of course, takes care of that transition and the player movement is the script that controls how the character moves, obviously. Um, so in the player movement script, what I had to do is create a variable called can move, which is a boolean, defaults to true. And then down here, I added it as an extra condition to uh, basically when it's testing for whether the movement vector is not equal to zero. Basically, is there any kind of actual movement input? I'm also checking whether or not the character can move at all to begin with. Um, and if that's not true, then it's just going to go back to the idle animation down here. But if those both uh, evaluate to true, then it can play the walking animations and it can actually move the character as you would expect. So in order to control this boolean variable and actually stop it on command, that's where the warp script comes in. So I added a few lines to my script here. Uh, one is to, uh, kind of a little bit unrelated, but make sure that the character walking into the warp point is in fact a game object with the tag player because I don't necessarily want enemies to trigger that as well. But if that is the case, um, then I know that the object is going to have a player movement script in it because it's a player tagged object. So I go grab that script using git component player movement and then I reference that script and find the can move variable, set that to false. And once the fade in and fade out transition is done, which includes the movement of the character from one point to the other, I simply change the, um, the variable can move back to true. And that's what gets us what we have here, where normally the character can move fine, but the second I go to this, um, uh, to this warp point up here, I have no more control over my movement. So I'll uh, include some links to those two scripts in the description to help you guys out. I hope this video was useful, and I'll see you in my future videos.